So it's around this time of the year that secondary schools are opening up their doors to parents of year six students. So secondary schools will have these open evenings where they invite parents to come in, have a look, and the headmaster would usually give a speech and the parents get to go around the school and have a look around. Parents get to speak to some of the teachers, have a look through the curriculum, see the kind of activities that take place in various departments, and also meet some of the pupils that already attend that school. Now, it has to be said that on these open evenings, the school is made to look amazing. But this is probably not ideal for you parents because you want to see the school in its true form on a day-to-day -day basis and open evenings can maybe distort some of that. So what else can you do as a parent to see the school in its true form besides going to one of these open evenings? And also you might have missed one of the open evenings that were happening in the school around where you live. I'm going to share with you an advice that I gave to another parent who asked me about some schools in an area that I wasn't too familiar with. So this parent was looking for a new school to send their daughter to and understandably as a parent they were concerned with a number of things. For example, how good the teaching and the exam results were, which is something that should be at the forefront of any school that you're looking to send your kid to. But they were also concerned with behavior management and the attitude of the kids in general, because we all know that kids are easily influenced by other kids around them. And this parent was particularly concerned about this one thing. So I said to the parent, there are lots of things that you can do. You can go into the school and ask for the exam results. You can go and read Ofsted reports that are available for you online. You can also ask the parents of kids that currently attend that school about how their kids are finding that school. But you may not always have access to other parents and a school isn't exactly gonna tell you about their bad points. They can perhaps phone the school and ask them to maybe show them around on a normal day. That way you could see the school in its true element. You'll see the kids walk around the corridor, but not all schools are free enough to do that for you because their teachers are not there to show you around. They're there to teach at the end of the day. Imagine having loads and loads of parents making appointments on different day asking to go in and have a look around. It's just going to be impossible. So I suggested to them the one thing that they can do as parents responsibly is to go and observe how the kids move around when they go into school and from school. There is so much information that we can get from observation alone, particularly how the kids go home from the school, because often you'll find that kids will be messing around in the vicinity of a school and sometimes they can create an intimidating presence for other people around them. And from this, you can kind of gauge how that school is regarding behavior management. Usually a good school would have teachers outside, make sure that the kids are well disciplined, and this would be also instilled within them, within the school and their behavior management policies. If you find that you feel intimidated about a school as a passerby, then just imagine how intimidating it would be for a younger person. So together with this and also speaking to other parents, if you can get a hold of them, you should be able to get a better picture of the school that you may be looking at to send your kid to.